It'll be because I'm better than him. It'll be because I'm better than him. That's why I'm going to beat him. But he already knows that. And that's why he hates me. Because like I said, he don't know me personally. He don't know me enough to hate me. So why, why would you hate me unless you know that you can't fuck with me? He was, lying. he was fucking his brother Caleb. up. Stopped him the first fight and the second fight. What and, then what I, and then what I come through and do what to Jose Uscott's What I got to do with anything? What I do to Jose Uscott's What I got to do with anything? He wasn't even himself. You knew he wasn't himself. Sound good. You pussy. Maybe that's like what I you said, want. You that, maybe that, maybe you that's his job. You let another man smack you. You want to make sure that another man smack me. He might got to die. You want to make sure. Yo, welcome to OTB Boxing School. Y'all go on here, hit that like button. They get to talking that shit, wasn't they? Go on here, hit that like button. Go on here, subscribe all the new students to the new school. Man, well, y'all check out the credentials. Y'all know what it is. We got fight film to break down. So let's get to it. We're going to start off with Anthony Durrell while y'all see him dig to the body, man. You see a good four or five punch combination. That's just something that we don't see enough out of Anthony Durrell. You see him open up right there and take those two shots in the pocket. I really do believe. I started off with the Kyron Davis film, first of all, because um this will be bread, man. The trainers, this will be his second time training against Anthony Durrell, which is going to be something I think could really have an impact on the performance Caleb Plant lets out. But we see him open up right there in the pocket and that's just something that Anthony Durrell does too much for my likeliness due to his lack of transition from offense to defense as you can see his um idea of defense is just shelling up and kind of taking these punches and um I, I'm not really a fan of that. However, it has lasted him through through an illustrious 17-year career. And we know how much of a junkyard dog Anthony Durrell is. I just feel like he has an ability to show it too often. And he's a high IQ boxer. His um, boxing IQ is higher than some may give him credit for. And I want y'all to notice the punch stats right here. As he's landed 53 punches through five rounds, that's that's about 10 punches a round, which I don't feel like is going to be enough of a work output for him to be successful in this fight with Caleb Plant. So I really look forward to Anthony Durrell really being on his dean. As you can see him take that right hand. Now watch him open up, boom, and then take that left hand. Now that left hand right there as we know Caleb Plant is a southpaw so that's going to be a straight left hand you understand and um, I feel like his his ability to transition to defense and um and take advantage of these opportunities when Caleb Plant open up with these type of punch combinations will be the determining factor in whether he's successful in this bout because Caleb Plant don't transition out of defense into offense which we going to look at a little bit later and this film study as well but right here man i just wanted to look at um anthony Durrell. the other thing that i don't like that he does is he sells out as we can see him stepping with that jab just to try and close the distance i really believe that this was the fight that allowed him to um know that he could be successful fighting in a pocket and really sitting on his shots and bringing some of his power as we know he was a boxer for the beginning of his career but watch him as he attempts to close the distance look at that sell out right there now Kyron Davis couldn't exactly um time that sellout as we gonna look at it in freeze frame all of that pressure on this front foot but I can bet you that Caleb Plant will Caleb Plant has exceptional timing because he likes to sit on that back foot now as we can see him rotate the wrong way and he's just not active on the line he allows David Benavidez to close too much distance before he really begins to up his activity rate and um and that's something that I feel like is really detrimental to Anthony Durrell throughout his fights. As you can see him at 45 landed right there. Whenever you see him do shit like that, he going to get hit. But look at him take that jab. Whenever he stick his tongue out, do some weird shit, I don't want to see that shit, Anthony Durrell. Leave that shit at home. But, um... For the most part, he, his work output, as you can see, him landed only 45 punches throughout five rounds, which is about on pace for the same thing that he was at in the last fight. And um, with a f fighter like Caleb Plant, who has a high activity rate, not so much as a high punch volume, I feel like... Um, your willingness to let your hands go can be something that either hurts you or helps you within the case of this fight. I would rather you let him go because Caleb Plant um, has some defensive e deficiencies as well, which we going to look at later on in this film study. But right now, let's look at um, Anthony Durrell as he jabbing his way off the line. 
You understand? As he piles at that jab, but he just sits back too much and he just not active enough for me. As you can see him right there, throw that two piece and that's not enough to keep David off of his front foot. So David just keep walking him down. Now what he do? He increases that punch volume, don't you? But it's not much. You understand? It's not much. It's a dig to the body and a, a three tap. And then what do you do? You take your foot off the gas pedal. And um, a lot of times he has rounds where he takes complete rounds off. So I look forward to seeing Anthony Durrell as we take him, take a multitude, watch him take a multitude of punches from David Benavidez, stick his tongue out, and then take another one. Boom. Yeah, I mean, that's the shit that I don't like with Anthony Durrell. And it really puzzles me for such a smart fighter because he really is an intelligent fighter inside the ring. But let's transition to Caleb Plant as we see him take this body shot right here and really just get bullied. I feel like um and that Canelo Alvarez, he got bullied a lot. But right here, we're going to look at one of his deficiencies. And you was kind of he did have some success when he put Caleb on his back foot. Caleb don't transition out of defense well. He sit on that back foot. Now look at him rotating and not working. So you was kind of he just changes the levels. And once I see you don't have nothing for me, when I change the levels, what he do? They... Uh, Caleb get down there and he don't even want to work. So now they use Katagi know, okay, you don't want to work when I change the levels. Watch what he do. He can't wait to come up out of this break. He can't wait. Change the levels, boom, boom. Sneak that left hand in there. He gonna eat that right hand, which is um highly intelligent. That just speaks volumes of Caleb Plant's ring IQ because He'll land that counter shot off. His problem is he just don't get his head into um, either of the head slots when he's sitting on that back on that back foot and he just want to sit on that back foot too much for my likeliness. And it allows him to really take punches that I feel like he really don't have to take. And um, as we can see him, he about to take another one. Look, look, he's allowing... He's allowing Yuskatagi to continue to close the distance. What? You're not giving him nothing to think about. So Yuskatagi say, you going to let me come in? I'm going to change the level again on you. Okay, that's what you're going to do. Boom. Now I'm going to sneak the jab in there and just straight jab your ass. You understand? Which was smart fighting by Yuskatagi. But um, I think that that, that bread man is going to fix some of these deficiencies that we're looking at in Caleb Plant. I really got a lot of respect for um Stephen Breadman Edwards as a trainer as we could watch Caleb Plant take that – um, body shot from Canelo, but right here, look at him take the two, two, take the two to the body, and he don't jab his way off the line. He just sit on the fucking ropes and eat that left hand. So for these situations, I really want to see him be smart enough to jab his way out of trouble. Caleb Plant really has an effect, effective jab. It's not a very um efficient or is not a real um powerful punch in his jab but it's very purposeful you understand and it does a lot for what caleb does and controlling the space and controlling distance and um really allowing his hands to be deceptive giving his um good foot placement and great feet Caleb Plant really got good feet that's really the main thing that I felt like um is gonna get him out of this fight with Anthony Durrell Anthony Durrell has been in um he's been a pro for 17 years now I want to say 17 or 18 years now as we watch Caleb Plant just not get his head off the line and take some of these shots sitting in these slots you understand and also his clinch ability. Him grabbing on to that left hand. Please tell me that's something that you fixed, Stephen. Bread man Edwards, because that shit is horrible. As we can see him take that three-piece right there, not getting his head off the line or controlling the line with any type of distance. He just backs up, sits on that back foot, and look at all the shots that he takes and how he allows himself to be bullied. Now I feel like his ability to clinch, and we're going to see how good he's got because you can promise – I can promise you one thing from the um from the press conference as we seen take yet another left hand from Canelo from not getting his head outside the line and sitting back on that back foot, but not, that's him not transitioning into out from defense to offense because when these opportunities present themselves, just as you'll see with Canelo when he open up and wind up for that punch, it's a body shot right there, but you got to shoot it and your head got to be in an offensive perspective in order for you to capitalize off of that. So. Given his ability to do so, I'm just not under the circumstance that um he'll he'll 
be able to fix these in one fight. So I would like to see him stay with Stephen Breadman Edwards after this fight. However, I do see him winning this fight. I just don't feel like Anthony Durrell legs is going to be there long enough throughout this fight. And um, every round after five that it goes on is advantage to Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant is definitely going to be in shape. I got a great interview with Stephen Breadman Edwards. Y'all should go and check out where he talk about how Caleb Plant take care of his body and how much of a professional he is and um I really applied that and I feel like those are those are some of the things that you can lean on when things don't go your way in fights or this fight may at all be ugly neither one of them really have a high punch volume however I think that we'll see a better Caleb plant so I do expect him to bring his jab to the dance party that night but I enjoy breaking this fight down, man. Y'all hit the comments. Let me know who y'all got and why. Let me know if I missed anything, any deficiencies you feel like you might have saw that I didn't. And um, we will have a live breakdown on this on Friday at OTB Boxing School. So I appreciate all my students. Class is dismissed, and we're going to be out.